Hello, so we are back and this time we have a customer job. This is a nice Acer Aspire 5 Intel i7 Iris graphics. It's nice full HD screen. It's a nice one. Aspire 5 model N20 C4. Okay, so what's the problem with this one? So the customer is saying like that. Yeah, have the customer email here sparks when the when the power jack is plugged in and doesn't charge it's kind of uh, kind of weird i mean sparks sparks uh, meaning it's a shorter or why it doesn't charge uh, i have the customer charger here but let's try with the power supply because with the charger we can't see anything i'm assuming it's 19 volts one yeah, 19 volts. So you see, we have the we have the charging port here. Okay, I will come with the power supply. 19 volts. Power supply. It's on screen around two amps. Let's see ground, and the middle pin. It is sparks. You you can see, you can see the spark. Probably not. Huh? You can't see. Okay, yeah, the, the 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 laptop is shorted, but this short, yeah, this short is here. It's not after the first two MOSFETs. It's it's the, this short is on the charging port because it sparks. Yeah, uh, the laptops they doesn't spark because they have inductors, they have resistors, and the serial mode with the with the with the nineteen volts. They have a lot of uh, protection against sparking. Yeah? So I'm curious, what kind of fault is this? I mean, I don't think I ever had a fault in the past uh, like sparking. Okay, so the laptop is open. This is a nice board. This is a nice one. So the charging port is here. Let's have a look at the charging port. Yeah, let's have a look at the charging port. So you see, next to the charging port, you have an inductor. You can see that inductor there. So I don't understand how this laptop is, is, is sparking. Hmm. Now let's come with some power, low voltage, because it does, doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, ground. Okay. And plus, plus on the middle, right? Plus on the middle, here. And it's not short. What? Or I'm not holding the ground. Oh, it is short. Sorry, it is short. Oh, it's not sparking because it's low voltage. Oh, sorry, sorry. My fault. My fault. So we can see it's taking like 1.2 amps and the voltage is very, very low. 0, 0 0.01. So this short is here somewhere. Going up to 3 amps, we have like 0 0.03. I mean, this short, it's extremely low, so must be here, must be near to the charging port. Let's get the thermal camera. And we have the thermal camera. Let's come with some current. And I can't see anything, and it's bad, this is bad. If I can't see anything, it's bad. Because I, 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 will, I will expect to see this inductor getting hot. So that means the short is after the inductor. But if uh, if the inductor doesn't get hot, yeah, that means the short is inside of the charging port. Let's place the current, yeah, here on the other side of the inductor, yeah, here. And you can see, look, check there, check on the screen. You can see the inductor is getting hot because the current is flowing on that direction. So the short, it is inside of the charging port. 
Okay? Now the question is, can we fix something like that? I have no idea, but let's have a look inside of the charging port. Let's see what we can see with the microscope. Okay, I believe everyone can see the problem. Yeah, so check that. Can you see? So the, the, the ground is touching the middle pin. Can you see it? Yeah, there. I mean, are a lot of dodgy way to fix this kind of problem, but I'm not sure I wanna. I want to do it. I prefer, uh, you know, just to order another port. No, it's not even point. It's not even point. Yeah. So the fault is clear. All I want to keep in mind is the way how we diagnose the fault. I mean, if you have a component on the board, like on this case, we have an inductor. It's very simple to see where is the short, yeah, which, which side, it's forward or backward. If you come with the current on the both ends of that uh, resistor, inductor, so you can see on which side is getting hot. Very simple to you know, to figure out where is the current is flowing. Okay, so I'll stop now. I'll uh, order the charging port and probably see you on the next one. Bye. One day later and the charging port arrived. Very quick. So let's open the laptop again and replace the charging port. Okay, so the laptop is open. Let's lift the board and replace the board. Okay, so we took the board out. And uh, I remember on the last video, people asked, sorry, and how you can replace the port and uh, the plastic is not melting, yeah? Let's do it again. Let's do it again. And I will tell you the temperature and everything, yeah? Okay, so we have the microscope here. We have the charging port on the, sc on the screen, yeah? Let me get rid of the reflections a little bit. Okay, that's perfect. Now let's use some flux. We can use flux, we cannot use. <clears throat> let's not use flux this time, yeah? So we'll get the hot air and I need a nozzle. Uh, about that size, yeah, that, that, that should be right. Now we'll go in max temperature, yeah? I'm um, on 480 degrees and the air is around 36% and I will not use flux. It's not important flux right now. We are using high temperature just because removing the pore should be a very fast operation, yeah? You don't want to heat up the board too much. So using hot air, very hot on the, straight on the charging port, uh, it will lower the time uh, you need to remove, remove the charging port, right? In this case, you see that the port is melting. Okay, so the port is removed. Now what you can use... Uh, I'm usually using... This is no low melt solder, yeah? This is like... Uh, it's a solder wire, it's leaded solder wire, which is getting melt probably around 260 to 70 degrees, yeah? So I'll use, uh, I'll use some uh, solder wire to mix with the original uh, solder. And on this case, I will lower the temperature a little bit. I will use some flux. Yeah, just a little bit of flux, you don't need more. And the solder, you know, you can you have to fill with solder anyway here the the pads. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh perfect. Perfect. Okay. So what do we need now? Now we need a port. 
let's bring the port the new one yeah that's the one and now I will lower the temperature let me lower the temperature around let's try 300 first yeah let's see if it's working with 300 Let's see if it's getting melted with 300. Should get, yeah, it is getting melted with 300. Yeah, there and here. And now we can plug the charging port. Perfect. I and mean, for some reason it's not going inside there and I don't know why it's not going inside oh yeah it is going sorry it is going okay that's fine Yeah, and now the port, it's inside, you can see? You can see the port is moving. So I'm pretty sure now the port is soldered properly. So you see the plastic, it's intact. The plastic didn't melt with 300 degrees. Now we can do like an extra rework on the port if you want, like adding a little bit of solder here perfect yeah and here a little bit just to be sure you know the job is properly done okay and on the other side Let me use a little bit of flux. Perfect. Okay. Now the charging board has been soldered. How we can test it before we are fitting the board, yeah? Let me grab the charger. We have the original charger here. So first we can check the we can check the charger if actually you know everyone is saying charger. It's actually a power supply, but people call this a charger. And we have 19.3, you can see on the screen 19.3. Plug it on the on the motherboard. And now it's very easy to check. You take ground. You don't have to take ground from here. You can take ground from anywhere. And plus. And you can see on the screen is 19.3. So basically any board you have, not necessarily this one, like any laptop. When you come here with the ground on anything, any metal part of the motherboard. And plus. And you see voltage, you know the charging port is good. Yeah. 19.3 so the job is well done let's put all back together and test one more time okay so everything is on place all what is left is to plug the battery and plug the charger And the charger is plugged, and do we have any charging light? Yeah, we do have the charging light there. You can see the orange light there. So the laptop is charging, coming on. Let's see. Pressing the power button. It will take a while, probably, because we reset the BIOS. 
but she'll come on and work fine. Let's wait. Let's wait. Yeah, I know, you know, the tension. You don't know if it's working or not. Maybe it's not coming on because it has a fault. Maybe just, you know, it's uh, restarting after a BIOS reset. Or maybe it's not starting at all. I can see it's on. I can see the blue light here. I'm pretty sure I plugged the screen right. But yeah, that's strange. I mean, it's been a while. The fan is spinning. The screen is connected. Oh yeah, sorry. I forgot to plug the I forgot to plug the uh, the M2 drive, yeah. And I forgot because uh, usually you know that's the last things what you put on the laptop, the hard drive, the SSD, the M2 drive uh, because it has the customer data. All is the last uh, important thing you plug it uh, last like. Most of the time, the last thing I plug is the battery. And the screw. Okay, all done, let's try now. Power on, and the laptop is on, I can see the blue light here, and it's loading the windows, okay? I will stop now, just a short video about the charging port, I will say thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you like the video, and uh, see you on the next one, bye!